Many years ago, the Lotus Empire began its imposition of Lotism. Troops from Gallius advanced into regions that resisted. It was more of an invasion than a reformation. Many conflicts erupted as these territories were conquered. But some countries submitted and accepted Lotus conditions. Although supervised by a Lotus, they were able to main maintain autonomy. The Empire also pledged support if problems were to arise. Some rulers chose to surrender and avoid pointless sacrifice. It was no surprise that they made that decision. Although that did not stop small conflicts from occurring. However, compared to the rest of the era, it was a time of peace. That line there I will explain a little bit into the future. Probably around episode 3 actually. The Knight of Lotus. It was a dark and dreary night. <laughs> Richter, we won't make it to the island like this. The ship can be repaired, but it may take a while. How about the captain? He said we should wait for the storm to settle first. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do in, this, in a situation like this. I didn't think the stormy season would come so soon. Our ship has been drifting for so long that I haven't a clue where we are. We should be thankful that the ship didn't sink. Commander! We're being attacked! We have no idea who they are or what they want. No way! At a time like this? <laughs> that crest! Those clothes! You must be from Lotus! I'm sorry, but we can't let you land on this island. Die here! Who are you? What do you want with us? We're hired men. We were told to give the Knights from Lotus a warm welcome. Don't worry about them, just defeat the leader. Richter has a point here, the quickest and easiest way to beat most any map is to defeat the leader. Now, most of the characters in the first and second mission you cannot control. They are green or allied units. And here's the mistake that this archer has made is attacking from a lower elevation and from the front. He actually did manage to hit, so yeah, it worked. And that was a counterattack. Um, actually, when my turn comes up, I'm actually going to go into options and turn off some dialogue boxes, like this right here. Um, so if you'll give me just one moment, I am going to cut to when the dialogue boxes that I don't like are turned off.
With those dialog boxes off, let's continue. Now, Alphonse, as we'll see here, is a soldier. I'll have the expected stat growths, preferred weapons, and everything else appear on screen now. Look, there's a kid among these glorious knights. Shut your mouth, I'm a true knight of Felis. Calm down, Alphonse. Don't let your temper flare. <laughs> hey, kid, you scared? And counterattack. That is actually something very important to remember. Based on which direction you're facing will determine uh, whether or not you will be able to counterattack, and it will also determine the hit percentages that enemies are likely to have. Also keep in mind that enemies block your path, so if they're in your way, you have less maneuverability. Oh, she's getting pummeled. Richter's going to have to do something about that. And he's not? Nope, he is. He's healing. Richter is a high priest. Now, I won't put the stats on screen just yet. I will actually do that when I am able to control him. Uh, once I am able to control a particular class, that is when I will reveal what their benefits are. It's kind of boring not being able to do anything because... Oh my goodness. Let me do something. <laughs> Instead, I'm st stuck here... Waiting for the... Somewhat scripted. <laughs> I really wish that I didn't have to see all that. 71. I think I'm going to actually go here here. That should keep me out of the way of Stan. And I'm going to do 33 points of damage with an 85% chance to hit. He's going to do 13 damage with a 47% chance to counterattack. So, let's see how this turns out. I hit him, and he does not hit me. Now it's very important there, you gain experience points every time you are successful in an action. The enemies will also gain experience points, which is very important uh, later on, because it will determine basically how strong they are in battle, as well as certain other things. Like I mentioned, you can persuade enemies after a certain point to join your cause. Really? You're gonna die? Oh, good. You didn't die. I can get your experience points. Haha. -ha. And now Stan is gonna go after Alphonse from a frontal attack. That's... poor strategy. However, this makes a potential problem. <laughs> eh, is he gonna kill that archer? Let's see if he does. Nope, not quite. Oh, and this is what I don't like about the AI. They don't really concentrate on any one particular character. At least when they're on your team, they don't seem to. If they would concentrate on the archer, maybe she would be dead by now. Oh, wow, somebody's actually going after her. And miss. Swing and a miss. That's actually another thing as well. You notice that when she counterattacked, attacked, she did not shoot her bow. She punched him. There is a very, very important thing to keep in mind, and that was, uh, I believe, actually fist fight it was uh, the one of the badges that you could earn. Well, if you are, if you do not have a weapon equipped, or if you're using a bow, you will attack or counterattack. More importantly, with um, your fists. And you can do some serious damage. Oh, did I... Book of Initiation. That is very good. That is excellent. Getting it this early is very good. Basically, you, 
you counterattack three times in a row. You do not have to be successful in your counterattacks. Book of Initiation doesn't do anything specific for your character, but it does unlock an option later in the game. And it is, for my personal opinion, the best class for Alphonse. Oh wow, and the enemy got Book of Initiation too. And unfortunately... Oh, we're going after Richter? Really? Okay. We can't do anything in this battle, I swear! Stan is going after Alphonse, which is probably the best thing that he could do. Come on, Richter, I think you need to heal somebody like, you know, Alphonse. I, or yourself, actually. Eh, you're going after him. Okay. Now, it's a good idea to avoid Stan until everybody else is dead, because that increases the number of war trophies you can collect. And war trophies are what the enemies drop when you kill them. Wow, she is doing good. Book of Initiation. Uh, okay, it's dodge or counter. Okay. I stand corrected. Limiting her options about where can she can go. There's a lot of people earning Book of Initiation. You're probably almost dead. You have 54 hit points left. You have 43. You have 39. And you have 10. Which means somebody's going after Stan. Oh, great. Well, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to... Let's see, I'm, I'm going to see if I can get lucky here. Not what I meant to do. 31. I'm not going to be able to kill you. I'm going to see if I can get lucky and they can start going after other people besides Stan. Because if they go after Stan, this is going to be... Oh, no... No war trophies. Come on, let's get some war trophies. Richter, heal yourself, please. There's one war trophy. There's not going to be a war trophy from him. Okay, that's a potential good thing, actually. No, because Richter can still attack him. Richter, heal Alphonse. Don't attack, please. Oh. Okay, well, you're healing somebody. I guess that's a benefit to me. And it looks like... Yep, good. Don't go after Stan. Thank you. Good, that's two war trophies. Let's go for a third. And she's not dead. Okay, going to have to go after Stan because no matter what, somebody's going to attack him next turn and he's going to die. So, missed out on one war trophy. I failed. And we get a level up. And zero goth earned, but we get a leather hat. A cup of life, nice. And a Francisca, yay. So now we have two of those axes. Looks like there's someone who doesn't want us here. Our presence was requested by the people of Answer. It must be forces from the north that attacked us. Answer is in the south and Renaculus in the north. Is the conflict between the two really that bad? It's more than a conflict. There's a sizable forest that separates them. Winter snows block both the land and sea routes. 
They're not associated with each other for they've not associated with each other for hundreds of years. And then, unexpectedly, soldiers from the north cross the border. What is your father, the Duke of Fella, saying about this? To be honest, he doesn't seem very concerned. It's happened several times before, but he ignored the situation. This time, at the people's request, he finally decided to do something. I see. When I received these orders, I was surprised by how small our force was, and that most of the knights were inexperienced, like me. My father didn't want to go to the trouble of sending the main forces, so he sent me to take care of things instead. Are you worried? Not really. Just curious. Well, if we need more soldiers, we can just hire some. It's cheaper than sending re reinforcements by ship. Since my father became the Duke, he's been very stingy. I don't have uh, much admiration for him. Will you eventually go to Gallius to become a priest of the Church of Lotus? I don't know anymore. My father wants me to inherit his position as Duke of Fella so that he can hold the reins of power even in retirement. By the way, didn't you say that you've visited Ovis before? I was a child, I can barely remember. Watch out! That soldier got in the way. Find him. Alphonse! And thus ends the epic of the Knight of Lotus.